Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Bird, the Super Coach. Every week, I come into your life via the Facebook, via the iTunes, via the Google Play, via the, I don't know, any way you get Super Coach, which is a weekly vodcast slash podcast. Today, I'm at the Greatness Factory today, excited about being with you on a topic that we're going to be covering. We've been covering a Game Changer series. And in this Game Changer series, I'm going to give you five big areas I think you can surge but today's topic is about how to spend excessive force in one area to surge your business. So come on back to Super Coach. I'm Coach Michael Burt. We're going to give you a great podcast today. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now. Now. From the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Hey guys, welcome to Super Coach. Got a couple of beliefs I want to share with you. I believe everybody needs a good coach in their life. I believe a good coach can change your whole life. I believe those that have a coach earn three and four times the amount of money than those that don't. And one of the ways I communicate my message to build affinity in the market is every week I do a podcast live from the Greatness Factory. Tonight we're going to have this place full with monster producers. This month I'm doing a series called Game Changer. And this is will be the third or fourth time that I've taught this course. And every time I teach it, Anita Hill, every time I teach it, Blake Duncan and Roy Frazier and Joe and Ginger and Gerilyn Mulder, every time I teach it, I, I extract more value. I extract something new. And um, so today in this, in this Super Coach podcast, I'm going to give you three or four or five of the big areas that I think you can surge next year, okay? And, and really, when you're thinking about surging, I want you to think of the word spike, significant jump. I want you to think about you've been exposed to new information. You, you've got something, Lee Kentoff and Chad Applin, you've, you've got something that you've come into that's given you a new opportunity. Okay, you've got a whole new opportunity to not only change your game, but change your life. And, and you're not making an incremental shift this year, you're making a significant shift this year. So when you're thinking about how to, how to spend excessive force in one action area, this whole process really begins by starting with a dominant focus. And a dominant focus is a single, tangible outcome you would like to drive in a 12-month cycle as measured in 30-day windows. Okay, so, so if you don't have your dominant focus yet, it's this big, typically big number. I almost said big, hairy, audacious goal. Shout out to Jim Collins. It's this big dream number that you're trying to drive, which is your dominant aspiration. Every action you take is moving you toward that aspiration. Everything that you do in a day that is not moving you closer to that number, you need to quit doing because that's a low value of your time. So it really begins to take excessive force in one area. You first have to say, if my numbers, I'm going from one to two million, if I'm going to selling 12 houses to 20 houses, if I'm going to, to, to going from here to here, then it first starts with a big number. And then what I call revenue drivers are the number of different ways you're gonna use to hit your revenue number. So you can't take excessive force in one area, you can't take excessive force in one area unless you start picking areas, right? Okay, now, making a note here. When you're thinking about this, so, so, when you're, so when you're thinking about this, I got my big number, which is my dominant focus, single tangible outcome I would like to drive in a 12 month cycle. That's a number. It's a quantitative number that can be tracked, that can be measured, okay? Second thing I got is I got revenue drivers. I'm going to drive revenue through this way, through this way, through this way, through this way. And if I only got one place, then I know exactly which place I need to spend excessive force in. But if I got seven revenue drivers, I need to double down and decide what's my one revenue driver, okay? Now, each of these revenue drivers that you have out there in the market, each of these revenue drivers should have intentional congruence. That means they all feed in to each other. So let's just say this, I got a number of $10.5 million of top line revenue or total contract value. I'm gonna use 12 different revenue drivers to hit that. For the purposes of today's super coach, I'm gonna choose one area that I'm gonna spend excessive force and action in. 
Okay, so here's an example. Let's say I want to I grow my 25K membership to um, 160 members, $4 million of revenue. I'm going to backtrack that number and say, how many do I have to get each month? How many do I have to get each week? So I got to get 14 a month. I got to get 3.5 a week. I need to be having four conversations a day, five days a week, 20 conversations a week. I need to be having 80 conversations a month. I need to be having 960 conversations a year. Everybody see how that works? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in this revenue driver right here, I'm going to drive have excessive force because a mistake I made last year is I went out and I spent a little bit of time in a lot of areas, a little bit of time spread out among 700 people. What I'm telling you this year is I don't think you can show significant revenue growth until you double down in an area and go, this is the primary area where you can go out there and absolutely freaking crush it. Okay? So as we move into the break, do you have a dominant focus? That's a single tangible outcome. It cannot be qualitative. Do you have multiple revenue drivers to drive the dominant focus? Do you have intentional congruence, which is all of your revenue drivers feeding each other? And do you have one area that you can double down on for excessive force and excessive action in? That's the focus of today. Pick in an area that you're going to have excessive force and excessive action. You're watching Super Coach. In segment number two, come on back. I'm going to talk about the difference between blue gills and blue marlins and, and how to always go where the fish are biting versus just going to some little pond where there's nothing that you can do. I'm Coach Michael Burt. You're watching Super Coach. Super coach. We're getting in the weeds today. Aaron, A. A. Ron, Charles Hutchins. I already said hi to Lee Barnes Kentoff. What you guys up to today? Happy Tuesday to you. If you hadn't been to Monster Producer this month, get your booty to Monster Producer. And I'm doing a full day on my legacy selling system. What I'm talking about here today, I'm going to be breaking down. I'm a very methodical person. It came from my coaching days of being a high school basketball coach. Everything is systematic to me. How do we attack a day? How do we go out and generate? How do we double our leads? How do we double our business? How do we make significant jumps in our life? So I'm going to be teaching Legacy Selling uh, January 29th at the New Lodge. We're going to put the link in here if you want to take action on it. Okay, but you can go to coachburton.com backslash calendar, register for a full day of Legacy Selling with me, and I'll go real deep, Jack. They don't even, let me tell you something. It ain't going to be a game changer. It's going to be a freaking life changer because I'm going to show you how to go out and double your business and double, double your income, okay? And we've been able to do that by using the legacy selling system. But the legacy selling system is excessive force in specific actions every day. It's not random or sporadic. It's not confusion. It's not, it's not all over the place. It's specific, intentional action in a certain area. So if you miss segment number one, what I'm talking about is creating a big dominant focus. It's a tangible number, deciding six, eight, 10, 12 revenue drivers that you're going to drive that focus. And then from those revenue drivers, pick in one area to have excessive force in. So you may be asking yourself as you're watching this, what is, what is the area? Like what area do I need to be in that can do this? And here's what I would ask you, okay? This is the difference between Blue Gill and Blue Marlin. So I'm going to take you down to, to uh, Seaside, Florida, vacationing with my buddy Scott Nagy. He had just sold his business, and, and we're talking about growing our business. And he says to me, Coach Burt, there's a big difference between you and I. You and I are both fishing. You're just fishing for blue gill, and I'm fishing for blue marlin. You're fishing for blue gill in Percy Priest Lake, and I'm fishing for blue marlin in the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm like, dang, man, that one stuck with me. So when you think about where can I spend my most, my, the, my most time and energy in an area that can generate the most revenue for me, I start asking myself, how do we go catch the blue marlins versus the blue gills, Daniel Hodges? How do we catch the blue marlins versus the blue gills? How do we catch the big ones? So basically what we're doing is we're reorienting 
where we spend our time and energy. We're placing our greatest opportunity, our greatest time and energy on our greatest opportunities. And that's not how people tackle their days, Holly Vaughn. That's not how people ta tackle their days. Larry Gillian, there's not how people tackle their... I'm telling you, man, if you were to track how people track their days, they spend their time on all kinds of things, but they're not putting their most attention on their biggest opportunities. You need to put your best resources on your biggest opportunities. Let me say it again. You need to put your best resources on your biggest opportunities. And you're not committed to something in 2019 unless you're willing to spend time and energy and resource and money on it. That's my opinion. So don't tell me that you're committed to customer service if you don't spend any time and energy on customer service. Don't tell me that you're going to drive revenue if you're not willing to prospect two hours a day. Don't tell me that you're going to get better at the art of selling if you're not going to practice and role play every day. If you're not going to attack it with an intensity, like, 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 like you're not really committed to it. So, so session number two really is how do I refocus my time and energy on my biggest opportunities? And what I've decided is that some of my biggest opportunities are spending time with people who, who are willing to spend 25000 or above on their coaching. They're more serious. They're more committed. They're, they're looking for opportunity. They're looking not just for improvement. They're looking for game changer. That's what they're looking for. So how do I do it? How do I do it, John Howard? How do, I, how do I say this is my biggest opportunity? One way to do it is to spend time getting your current people to such a better place in their life that they draw a direct correlation back to you. See, when you think about this concept of starting a movement, there's typically a charismatic or attractive leader, there's a cause that people want to be involved in, and there's a new opportunity. Now, there's a difference. This is a Russell Brunson concept. Yet there's a difference between an improvement offer and a new opportunity. Improvement offer is you come along and you offer somebody a little bit of improvement on something they've already got. It's really hard to sell this because they had a bad experience with the last person. It's hard to sell them on this. It's like changing diets. Like I was trying this diet. It didn't work. So I'm, you're going to bring me a little bit better diet, right? A, a life-changing opportunity is I'm going to bring you an opportunity that's going to change your whole deal. It is so big and so incredible and so interesting that this is a true game changer for your life. So... Step two of excessive force in one action area is deciding the revenue driver that you believe if you spent more time and more energy on and more resources on and more everything on, it could blow up your business to show a significant spike. We come back in the final segment of Super Coach. I'm talking game changer. How do we significantly change the game? Spike, surge, Typically, result of exposure. I'm going I'm to break down five of these areas I've been talking about in Game Changer and let you just really, really understand what each step is. And if you haven't signed up for my Legacy Selling Series at the Lodge, go to coachburg.com backslash calendar and uh, get yourself signed up. Bring your team for a full day, and I'll show you how to surge. I'll show you how to stay focused. One of the biggest things I think I can bring to you is focus, intensity, offensive mobility. Get your people attacking the day every day versus playing defense. Too many people live in a reactive state, Jack. They live in a static state. We gotta get you in a dynamic state, and that's what a good coach would do. Come on back in segment three, we're talking game changer, excessive force in one action. Hey there, this is Coach Michael Burt, and man, am I excited to, to take a group of 25 people down to Miami, Florida to 10X3. That's 10X Growth Conference 3, Miami, Florida, some of the biggest speakers in the world. And I decided this year to to purchase the most expensive premium suite at the Marlins Stadium. And the reason I did that is because what a unique opportunity to mastermind in the suite, fly down on a private plane, spend time with 25 like-minded people who are interested in performing at a higher level, all at the same time of going to the conference. Welcome back, Super Coach. Weekly podcast I do, live from the Greatness Factory. If you're not here, Monster Producer, I just got off the phone with Tim Clark. He's a great 25K member. John Howard's on here. He's a 25K member. Daniel Hodge on here, 25K member. And if you haven't signed up for Legacy Selling, I want you to come spend a day with me on intensive. Listen, if you want to go to Miami, i got tickets available. i got tickets available to go to Miami to 10X, get in the suite, premium suite, fly private, year of monster producer. Okay, if you take advantage of that ticket, the $7,500 ticket, Jack, let me tell you what else I'm throwing in. I'm throwing in, I think, a day pass to Tim Grover, a day pass to Kevin Elko, plus a year of Monster Producer, plus Fly Private Me, plus Sweet. I'm throwing all that stuff in. 
Tony Hakeem, that's ridiculous. That's what you call a ridiculous offer. Go to 10X, fly on the plane, one year monster producer, day passes to Grover Elko. It's ridiculous, man. Total ridiculous offer. So shout out to you, Tony Hakeem, Pastor Ken, Will Fraley. What's up, guys? Today we're talking how to have excessive force in one area. This month I'm doing a series called Game Changer. And Game Changer is how you have a significant jump in your life. Think spike, think surge, think uh, ridiculous amount of growth, not incremental, very intentional, specific jumps in your business. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you the five I've been covering in Monster Producer. You got to be a monster to get them d deeply. But I'm going to give them to you. Number one is you got to pick an area you're a total expert in. Specialist. Think must have versus nice to have. Think I'm a specialist in this one area. I'm a specialist in this one area. I'm a specialist in this one area. Let me, let me ask you as, as, as how we would ask it is, who would write you the largest check? That's a Dan Sullivan concept for your expertise. Blue Marlin versus Blue Gill. What problem do you solve and who do you solve it for? And who wants you to solve it at a very high level? That's step one. Step two of Game Changer is pick an area where you can have excessive force. So have you picked your area yet? Yeah, step three is a thousand true fans from the Kevin Kelly concept. I taught it so many times, I already forgot it, Jack. I taught it so many times, I've already forgotten it. So step three is how do you build a base of 25 people that know you, love you, fighting for you in the market, believe in you 100%. That's step three of Game Changers. Step four, how do you feed the funnel with strangers? How do you feed the funnel with strangers? That could be your social funnel, which I'm trying to build. Could be your, how do, how do you go out and add new people? And step five is what's the one hire that can change everything for you in the game? Now, you look at those five steps if you want to show a significant bump in 2019 and ask yourself, out of these five, what's the one area I can show excessive force and action in that will multiply? Now, I'm going to tell you this is hard. And the reason it's hard is because we're caught up in the current of the urgent. So we come in every day and we're just so busy. We're just so unfocused. We're just so in a defensive posture that you got to constantly remind yourself, this is the area I'm going to stay focused in, guys. This is the area I'm going to stay focused in. This is the area that if I just take more action, more calculated action, more intention, more focus, it's the, it's the biggest area that we can show the most bump, right? Now, shout out to Dr. Steve Hotze, Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Got my wife on the program, got me on the program. Dr. Hotze's coming into town next week, doing a women's event on Tuesday night at the Lodge, doing an event in Knoxville, Tennessee on Wednesday night. Then we're going to Chattanooga with J.D. Frost and doing NougaCon. So if you're interested in coming to any of those events, go to coachburk.com backslash calendar, and we would love to see you. Doc Hotze, get your energy right, just like he's getting for me, to perform at a freakish level. That's the main thing. Get your energy level at a freakish level so you can go approach your goals and approach your 2019 because you're never going to be able to do anything if you all burn out with a little bit of energy. So you guys have a great day. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. Download and listen to the podcast. Give me some reviews on the podcast on Super Coach. Share this stream with other people. Every, I'm trying to bring these to you every Monday. I know it's Tuesday. But every Monday, I'm trying to get on a schedule with you, so I'm coming to you on Super Coach on a, r a ridiculous schedule, and I'm feeding you energy. And I'm, but I'm feeding you not just energy, I'm feeding you substance, because that's what a good coach does, guys. I'm Coach Michael Burt. I believe everybody needs a good coach. Hey there, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach, and I spent a decade of my life as a women's basketball coach studying some of the top coaches in the world. And I still remember, as a young kid growing up, watching one basketball player dominate. And I used to stay up late at night watching Michael Jordan score 63 points. And what I didn't know growing up was that he had an additional coach, and his name is Tim Grover. He wrote the best-selling book, Relentless. This is your opportunity, guys. Three days with me and Tim Grover.